I just opened my bag of tortilla chips. There are half. That's less than half the bag. I just opened this. Oh. Hello, it's me, Pepita. That is my new name now, Pepita. Just kidding. Uh, I am doing the Q and A because uh, only one person responded, but they had enough questions that it counted. I'm not going to show a screenshot because it's a really long comment, but it was very positive. I would like to thank you, and I am going to be answering the questions now. I, I'm using a selfie stick, by the way. I use this whenever I'm filming myself inside of abandoned buildings and stuff. All right, question one is, what kind of format was I planning to make it in? Uh, well, I mean, originally it was, it was supposed to be just build up for, a, for like a, an, an actual like long video that I was going to do. I stopped, I stopped doing that because the video would have been, would have taken too long and it would have been for something that I would have never made. A show, as you can guess, I'm a child, I'm basically a child. Look at how tiny I am. Uh, and, uh, I can't make a show. So instead, I, it evolved into what it was before I stopped it for now. Uh, the format, what, uh, it was just going to be videos with codes and stuff in them with like little attachments, like sound bites and maybe other videos, depending on like, Whatever. Uh, but now I kind of want to see if I can put physical ob use physical objects as well. I had the idea of like a dead drop or something, where like it had like a like a video like a secret video would have like a a date and time and a specific location like a picture or something, and you'd have to like go there roughly around that time. And there'd be like a little box with with like stuff important to the story in it. That would be cool. But I don't know what I I, I don't even know what I put in there. Legitimately. Uh, most of the content would probably still be on YouTube. Maybe a Twitter, maybe, maybe like a couple, a couple Twitter posts, and I don't know about Reddit because subreddits are, uh, very hard to post to. Well, I'm very dark now. Um, they're incredibly difficult to post to, so I, I mainly just comment. I, I'll, I'll, like, post funny videos on, like, meme subreddits, but that's basically it. Uh, what else is there? Okay. How would you describe the character who's been moving things forward? So, I can spoil this actually because this is everything everything I've been trying to put forward. I, this is everything I'm trying to put forward, basically. His name is Lonnie McKinn. He is based off both the comic character and the video game character of Anarchy, if you couldn't tell from the fact that that's his like superhero name. And basically, in the, uh, the Arkham games, uh, he is defeated by Batman, and then he's never found again. He's go, he goes missing for the rest of the franchise after, like, He's like second, his only appearance in a game, actually. And his basically only... His first and possibly only appearance in any form of media, aside from that one movie that didn't do well. So, you know, it'd be, it, it, it's based off that. And uh, in this version, he's been locked in a facility for uh, an incomprehensibly long time. I'd say roughly seven years. And he escapes on Christmas night. Because that's how he was originally defeated, so it would have been on the day. He escapes, and then go tries to go back to Arkham. But uh, the facility manages to do one last thing, which is take him to a completely different section of... Uh, I, I said Arkham, I meant Gotham, you know, the city where all that stuff takes place. Uh, he ends up sending him to a place called Old Gotham Precinct, which is just kind of like... It's just like the weird, homey kind of version of Gotham, and it's basically an excuse for us to why I'm not doing this in New York or something, because I can't. Uh, I guess what, what would happen next for his character is, obviously, he's finally back in a place where he can do what he was trying to do in the first place, and make change in the city he's in. So, in Gotham, he would, in New Go in where he is, I'm, I, I can't say, I can't speak today, uh, I actually wrote one thing he did. Uh, there is a character named Solomon Green as a ref uh, and basically he ties into the under to the underside of like a train car or something. And uh, Solomon Green was known in the underground mafia. This is an original character. By the this is an original idea, by the way. Not like it's it's a reference, but uh, known in like the underground gangs and stuff as a person who will torture and film people, uh, in order to be, an, as an enforcer, really, He'll, that's what he'd do, he'd, uh, send the video to someone, so, 
he does, and, and Lonnie does the same thing to him. He records uh, Solomon in his weakest point, being terrified of what's going to happen to him. Uh, it would have been in the form of like a physical cassette tape that you would like, I don't know, if, if no one had a cassette tape, there'd be like a little code you could say, and it'd be like, oh, okay, here's the audio that's on it. Uh, this is kind of hard to read. Uh, the art, yeah, uh, I apologize for him being a bit of an enigma. It's kind of, my, whenever I make it like a, a thing for that, I, I mainly go, okay, let's film this. Okay, let's edit this. This seems cool. Let's put that in. Uh, the biggest, uh, example of that is probably the video titled Ha Ha. With like the, like the, it just looks like a normal reaction to like, oh, there's so many ads in this for like a new school project. Then it turns into the spooky cell. I'm turning the light, I'm turning the light on. There we go. Uh, let's see. What inspired you, honestly? Uh, what, what ARGs, are there any ARGs you were heavily inspired by that made you come up with the idea? Well, not a hundred percent. I look like I have a double chin at this angle. Uh, not a hundred percent. I would say possibly Ben Drown, because I'm thinking of, like, using, uh, like, some of those animation programs or, like, uh, the in RPG game developer thing to make a... A video that looks like a classic guitar, like a NES game, and then it's gonna be like a ooh twist, spooky. I actually really, actually really want to do that idea, so I'll probably, I probably might uh, if if it comes back. By the way, it will because I just realized uh, in roughly a year, enough people are probably going to be vaccinated for uh, big bio. I'll just say COVID uh, that it probably will be easier to do that kind of stuff. Uh, if, if only I had started doing it a couple years ago, in which case I would have an excuse. I guess mental health is an excuse. Uh, I would like to. Th I also like to thank you again. I very thank you, like hard your comment and stuff. I could thank you for being polite and patient. And um, I will say this: I've actually, I already have a design for the character of Neo Anarchy. Uh, you see, in the in the actual like all his games, he's used, he wears red but most of the time. Uh, I no reason why. It, kind of, it has to do with, like, his first appearance, which looks like, uh, Viva Vendetta, but red. Uh, and so it would, I thought it'd be neat if he wore blue instead, but that kind of seems dumb. Also, I, uh, also because if this gets broke, gets, like, damaged, if I ever film something, uh, that's my good hoodie. I do have a bad black hoodie and, like, a parka that I wear, that I wear, that we've worn together to form the outfit. Is there anything else I can say? Uh, first off, this is my closet. I don't know why I walked in here. Um, well, here it is. Uh, you can very easily do the mask that the character has because, um, done. This is it. Just, uh, you just fucking... Ooh! I'm struggling to find out what to say. Um, I am going to start doing the Minecraft thing. That, that'll be fun. My, Minecraft Pocket Edition is a surprisingly powerful version. It's, 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 it's on another update now. That'll be, that'll be nice. Hmm. Let me think. What, what, what are my finishing words for this video? Um, play Slug Life? Sludge Life? It's on the Epic Game Store for PC. It's... Free. Not to mention a duck! Huh? What? Um... Who? Huh? Um... Ed. Why?